Hello, um, hi everyone, it's Cindy from Cinders. This is going to be a fairly short um, video because, believe it or not, I have just been released from hospital today. Been in there for a little while, which is why there's been no hide nor hair of me. So my husband picked me up about four o'clock and I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what time it is. I'm still a little stunned. Um, so after I've done this, I'm going to tuck myself up into bed, but I was just overwhelmed. Um, when I come out of hospital, um, just a little while ago, I thought, you know, I'd open whatever little, you know, mail I had. And there was this big bag, big bag. And, um... I thought it was going to be some more of these roses because at the moment I'm making teddy bears with roses. Here's one here that's sort of half started. It will be beautiful when it's finished. Um, but they were for Valentine's Day and that's long gone so Unfortunately, I didn't get to send my Valentine's because of the whole being ill in hospital and not being able to come out and miss my babies and miss you guys. So, right. Now, I uh, said if anyone had any spare cards that they li might like to send me, that um, I would be very grateful because um, I myself was making cards um, for um, Woking Hospice which looked after my friend and gave her the dignity um, when she passed away to, um, to to ease her suffering and they were lovely and I have lost many patients um, when they have been um, in the Woking Hospice and they are amazing so I want to support them and I thought well if I sell my if I sell my cards then um, that money will then go towards you know Woken Hospice you know they got their own thing that they gave me um, can that you put the money in so <laughs> you will really have to forgive me because I really am I really am foggy um, right so I put the call out, I come home and there's this bag. Well, this lady sent me a beautiful card, which is beautiful on its own, right? And it opens up here. Now I'm not gonna read, show you this, but what she's put on here is, hi, hope you're feeling a bit bitter now. Ironically, Angela, today I was released from hospital, so it's quite unnerving. And you've put enclosed a few cards for you. I appreciate that, that they are not as nice as the cards you do make, but hopefully a couple will sell and, and every little helps. I've left the seal bags open so you can check if you want to sell them or not. Well, I can tell you after my experience in hospital, Angela darling, you filled me with such emotion it was incredible your cards are far better than mine will ever be there's there's no competition you, you your cards are amazing so i'm going to show you all and i want anyone who is um like one of my crafting friends you've seen the cards i've made i've always been very forward about the fact that i am not a card maker i'm trying to get a bit better but i would love i'm going to show you all of these and when i say all of them it there's a significant amount i think you can see my hands are a bit swollen aren't they yes right so anyway you will have to excuse my hands this is not about my hands this is about these cards um so i want you if you 
are a part of like our little friend friends group because I, I I have a class you all as my crafting friends and Angela I have um now I'm not going to say uh, say anything to offend everyone but we all have um and and I'm sure that a lot of you will agree will agree you all have um a, a big group of people that you you really dearly care for and and when I say that I really dearly care for a lot of you I really mean it it's not just like oh I love you guys oh you're so lovely I really do give a crap and it appears that so do you guys but if you could put down there how how amazing these cards are um, Angela has 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 always been incredibly dear to me for so many reasons and to leave these bags open in case I didn't want to sell any Angela I don't think you realize your talent is just amazing right so i'm going to take these off because they're going to slip and slide Oop, have a little wiggle so i'm going to start with this pile now these are all off one lady one of my like i say one of my collective of beautiful beautiful friends and i mean that truly deeply straight up so look at that sorry I, I've got the stamp set here but you know what I never made anything as good as that how beautiful is that I'm not taking any of these out of the seal bags because they're beautiful and I do hope she's put on them who's who made these otherwise I'm gonna hand write on each one who made them because I'm that touched and I will right so that's that one birthday wishes I mean she's gone to such depths i have this as well and i have this and i have this this is a huge amount of effort that she's put into a card that she feels isn't as good as any of mine angelia you're mad i mean look at that how precious is that uh, i'm just wow i don't know what to say to get home today to this Andrew it just made my day I mean look look at all that foil look at the work I mean this isn't this isn't like child to play Angela darling this is the real deal right so let's have a count I'm going to put them in piles of ten at one two three four five right so there's five and if I pull out another five one two three four five then we can I can put them in bundles of ten I mean that is beautiful and I can see that she's um what do you call that fussy cut that and I tell you what I can't do that so Angela my hat off to you my darling that is amazing because look it literally when i first saw this oh, that's really unusual and then i realized that the pattern literally followed onto each segment like it was you know so do you ever sometimes think if if someone sends you cards um if you're on youtube and, and you put a call out if anyone can help you I mean I, I I wasn't I it's not for this is for charity and you see a card and you think do you know that's just so amazing that I could look at that all the time that I don't want to give it away that was one of them but don't worry Angela I'm gonna do the right thing <laughs> I always do darling right look at that now without offending anyone i find that is 
both simple and beautiful. There's a lot of work gone in. When, when we say simple cards, we tend to think of, you know, stamp, put a, a sentiment on, done. That looks so cl classy and simple, but there's a lot of work gone into that, Angela. And don't let anyone say that your cards are worse on better than um are worse than mine they're far better than mine will ever be now this one i might have to take out and she's even put the matching envelopes on so this is sorry i'm really ah look at that i mean wouldn't you just love to receive something like that on your birthday wouldn't you because I don't know how I would. Oh, look. Oh, Angela. I am going to find a way to get your name on these. Because there is no way I am passing these off as mine. Your talent is incredible. It's a boy. Look at that gorgeous I tell you what Woken Hospice are suddenly going to be making a lot of money one two three four five look at that here for you again looks very simple but then you think right okay so she's put the a layer on there and she's um, embossed those and then cut them into circles this is DSP I think which DSP stands for designer series paper in case anyone wanted to know and then there's gingham ribbon gone on the back so what looks to be simple and then stat this has been then stamped and then punched out now I don't know if these were punches or die cuts I can't tell and I'm not going to open them and ruin them. You can usually tell if they're die cuts because they're round rather than... Oh, I, can, I don't know. Angela, beautiful. I've never made anything as good as that. End of. Not a chance. Never. Ever. And look at that. See, again, it's in the detail. You, your eyes take it and just take it for granted. Now, there's gems on these flowers, and then there's these gorgeous little um, hearts, and then there's a bow, and then there's it, two <laughs> rounded layers on a base card. This isn't a five-minute card, but it can give you all, all ideas on cards you can make now that card can be anything you can open it up it can be anything and those cards are amazing but the happy birthday ones that she's made that i mean look can you see this beautiful absolutely beautiful i can't i can't find fault with one of these <laughs> I really can't that is so elegant she actually I would show you the one she sent me or I might have but I actually stick mine up so that they're safe forever um, they go on my happy wall so the one she sent me before is on my happy wall and it's staying there so this is nowhere near as nice as the one I've got nowhere near as nice and I just am in awe of her really I think she should do her own YouTube channels I think she should start don't you my lovely group of friends mind you when I see what half of what a lot of you do I think you should have your own groups including my lovely lovely hobby angel ellie who i haven't heard from or seen anything of and i'm a little worried but anyway back to this now 
beautiful again it's in the detail I think because I'm a card maker or a craft I should say crafter because <laughs> that is better I'm a crafter um, I just I think we see things um, that other people don't see now I think that those are either she's either embellished them or I've got an embroidery brother embroidery machine that, that does something very similar than that but they're beautiful absolutely beautiful love this I love it I, I, is, I wonder if this is stamping up I, that's terrible I, I've, I've been so lax where stamping up is concerned absolutely terrible mind you there's a reason I'm not going into it happy birthday absolutely gorgeous looks like the fireworks going on but did you notice all up here and down here on the happy, and the stones on the happy birthday see that's what I mean and then there's layers and layers and layers and <laughs> Angela yeah lovely thanks for everything everyone needs a good thank you card and that is a lovely one i'm going to time in days how quickly these go okay and now i think that is is that going to be a fancy card i don't know but i'm going to have a look because i'm a nosy so and so i thought it might be something clever look at that a birthday treat for you now for some reason that ah, oh, that's better you can see how um no i'm handwriting on these who done it beautiful paper and these are just amazing love it and i just i've got the, the cards there as well i don't even have to find cards to put them in Oh look, these ones will be gone in seconds. Absolute seconds. On the stamping up one, I think she has put before anyone starts getting all hussy fussy about the uh, using stamping up and not putting the stamping up thingy on. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? Have a glamorous birthday. Well, you see, I got a thing about shoes. I don't know if I've told you how many pairs of shoes I have. Right, so I've not been able to feel my feet for years now. It's a condition. So all my shoes, I love these shoes, but all my shoes I have to have, my heels have to have beautiful bows with these big, um, the straps and then big bows. And everyone always says they're so glamorous and they just, they kind of remind me of mine right so they're done did i do those yep 20. one two three four five you, she just must have spent forever look at that <laughs> how happy does that make you feel i mean seriously how happy does that make you feel and look at that I wonder how many of the others have special features like that that I haven't shown and look. Angela you are incredibly talented beautiful I think they're the new stamps as well beautiful from I love it. It's nice paper. Just like to check that I'm not missing a trick now. Now I've seen how fancy she's doing the insides. And um, I just, what do you say when someone has been so kind? Thank you just doesn't do it. And thank you won't do it. There will be a parcel coming for you. 
See, look, come on, who doesn't love that? And this here is a lovely effect. It goes up to there, and I find, think that's lovely. And googly eyes. <laughs> And again, decorated the envelope. There is definitely a big goodie bag coming for you, Angela. A big one. Best mate, look at that. It's beautiful. You see now, I think that's brilliant for a man or a boy. It's just gorgeous. There's layer upon layer upon layer of paper here. And but you see the buttons, it's all in the details. And I keep saying it, but a lot of people will just look at that and think, oh yeah, ship. Ship. Ha. Just in case anyone didn't get the P. Especially for you. Ooh, what can I say for that one? Wowza. And look. Wowza. I, I, I just don't know where to start. I just, I, I'm in awe. I'm not, I'm not even going to try and commentate on that because, wow. You should seriously be in either in business or get on YouTube, get yourself a channel and start doing this because you're seriously good. Can you, I mean, good grief, look. I just, I, what do you say? I, I just, yeah. I just, I, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Angela, you are going to make a lot of money for the Woking Hospice, which will allow so many other people and families and loved ones to have the dignity of being able to see their loved ones cared for before they pass. And I know, just look at that. I know that, that I mean, look. I don't quite know what to say. Angela, you're one of a kind. Best wishes, and I know that's off the the um, tape, the vinyls from Stamping Up. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Just want to see. Uh, yeah, I thought so. I mean, look. <coughs> so simple classic beautiful absolutely beautiful and do you know what I knew there would be something beautiful inside Angela why on earth and um, why on earth would you think for one second that I mean your talent is amazing I mean seriously girl woman lady <coughs> clear my throat I think these will come up yeah she's even put stones underneath flowers beautiful paper sorry I'm holding these up 
so because I, I want to enjoy them as well. I should take a look through here. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. These are gonna go. I'm I I just know they are. I should almost number them and I can pretty much tell you um, where I work is um, this is going to sound really snobby but it is a very 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 rich area one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's 30 cards and then we have the last three so 33 cards oh my lord look at that with love look at this Angela, 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 look at that. Oh, goodness me. Ooh, you take my breath away. Um, yeah, so I live in a very, um, not live, I work, I do live in a nice area. Um, I work in a very, um, oh, I can't get that in at the moment. So sorry, I will put it back in. I live in a very, very rich. Oh, I don't live. I work. Sorry, my brain is so fuddled from being in hospital. I work in a very rich area, and I know that all my patients are going to snap these up. I know they are. I I just know. Again, so much trouble. This uh, pli what do you call it? A plique or a plique? I don't know. I'm a bit dim when it comes to that sort of thing but isn't that beautiful with love on your birthday spaced perfectly and then you open it up and a beautiful little flower a beautiful little flower and again the envelopes oh and wow What do you say? I mean, I mean, what do you say to someone that you ask if someone can make some cards and then you get 33 stunningly beautiful cards that have been handcrafted. I know that she says, uh, she puts on their, their her handmade by Angela and they are, they are definitely, definitely, I know they're made by Angela. And I know that a lot of people love to say that they're handmade. Um, I myself will always put handmade. I think on my stamp it's got handmade. But in this case, I think I would call them handcrafted. So, I can't stay out much longer. I'm mega emotional because of what you've done and that I'm out of hospital. I will say a very, 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 very very big thank you so much to Angela you will have a big go goodie bag coming your way and to everyone out there that has enjoyed seeing these cards I would love it if you put a comment and also I know that Angela has literally worked hard but I know that most of you out there will all do your bit for charity um just because you don't do cards does not mean that i don't think that many of you um will have a form of craft and most crafters will um do something with their cards for charity or um they knit something or they make something and and it is a fabulous, fabulous group to belong to. And all of my subscribers, oh, I know it sounds so coin I love you all, but I think you're all incredi incredibly special. Um, 
and I'm going to go in a minute. But thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for your for your support over the years or year or so. It meant more to me than you know. Um, it really has. It's it saved my sanity. I can tell you now. And um, thank you, Angela. Goodies on their way. And thank you to everyone. I really, really do care about you all. So big, big, big hugs. And fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'll be back and crafting soon. Because there's so much I want to do. And I can't remember what, what I was going to do next. But it will come to me. It will come to me. Bye, everyone. And big, big hugs. Love you all. Bye-bye.